This is how you make an Excel calendar pop-up that looks and works like this. This is an updated version from my previous video that will handle multiple columns of dates. You start off by clicking on Developer and under the Add-ins, you're going to select Add-ins here. If you don't have a developer on your ribbon, you can right-click anywhere on your ribbon, customize the ribbon, select on Developer and click on OK. Once you're there, click on Add-ins and then click on Stores and search for something called Date. And after that, press Enter. Then you want to add Mini Calendar and Date Picker like this and then click on Continue. A mini calendar we inserted on your worksheet now resize and reposition your mini calendar while selecting your mini calendar click on shape format from your ribbon arrange selection panel and under the selection panel give your mini calendar a name let's call it calendar 2 and hit enter and close your selection panel now I'll press alternate f11 to launch your vba editor and after that Select your worksheet that you're working on. Mine is going to be called 584 here. And after that, paste this VBA subroutine. If you like the copy of this VBA subroutine, please leave a request on the comment section and I'll show you how you can get it. On this VBA, the first section, this custom config section, is where you make the configuration. I did call my calendar widget calendar 2. That's why I'm calling calendar 2 over here. And then for the range, I've got two range. One is D5 to E21. The other one is separately on a separate column itself, G5 to G21. Once you're done, let's save and close this VBA editor. Now, anytime we click on any cells in column D, or E, a mini pop-up calendar will appear that allows you to select the date and the date will be entered on your cell. Likewise, you select any cell in column G, a mini calendar will pop up and it allows you to select any of this date on your mini pop-up calendar.